Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Myers. Welcome to the Myers Detox Podcast. You can check out my site at myersdetox.com. And on my site and on this podcast, we talk about everything related to heavy metal detoxification. And part of that, before people detox, it's important for them to clear the terrain for reducing their viral load, their infection load, because these stuff up the detox pathways, these occupy your body, they drain your energy, they prevent good sleep. So it's important to have cutting edge strategies for being able to accomplish this beyond just taking supplements or medications. So we talk about that today on the show. I interview my colleague John Smith on the show. We'll be talking about how rife machines address viruses and infections and how using frequencies from a rife machine can very easily target and kill pathogens of all types in our body. So we talk about what a Rife machine does exactly, how it works, uh, what types of health issues can a Rife machine address. We talk about um, how frequencies can be used to target infections, even the current viral outbreak successfully, hint, hint, and where to go to get free frequency healing without purchase of any equipment uh, whatsoever. And uh, I know you guys listening to this podcast are concerned about metal toxicity, your levels of metals in the body. And so I created a quiz called heavymetalsquiz.com. You can go there, take the two minute quiz and get a free video series afterwards to answer frequently asked questions like, where do I start to detox? What type of heavy metals test should I do? Can I, what kind of supplements can I start to start a detox if I don't wanna do testing or while I'm waiting for test results? And so free video series, go check it out at heavymetalsquiz.com. Our guest today, John White, is a rife researcher and inventor from New Zealand, now living in Nanjing, China. With a background in electrical engineering, physics, and computer sciences, he's been researching and developing solutions to serious diseases since 2008. John specializes in energy and scalar resonance healing, biofeedback, and PEMF therapy. With an insatiable desire for truth and knowledge, John has collaborated with other research groups to discover answers to various health issues. At the beginning of John's career, the death of his grandparents influenced him greatly. Uh, He felt the helplessness of being unable to extend the lives of those that he loved. The subsequent death of Peter Garbett, his teacher and mentor, brought focus to his determination to find a solution to illness. He believes that sickness should not be a business and that restoration of health should be our primary objective. His vision was to provide people with all that they need to take control over their own health. You can learn more about John and what he does and uh, the machines that he's invented at spooky2.com. John, thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about Rife and what are called Rife machines. And so tell us what that is exactly and, and where did this kind of modality or protocol originate from? Well. There was a scientist who lived early in the 1900s called Royal Rife, and he was a brilliant man. He invented a lot of things, including a high-powered microscope that could see resolutions which are real small, and uh, even today we struggle to match the same abilities with modern microscopes. And he developed a way where he could apply frequencies to microscopic organisms And he found, using his microscope, that his machines could disable and destroy these pathogens. He started a business, uh, and the equipment, the machines which he made, he called uh, Rife machines. And so that's where the term Rife comes from, from his name. And and so what can the Rife machines do, and like how do they work exactly? Well, they resonate cells to such a point that they can't handle the energy that's being applied to them and it damages them it may break the cell membrane and they basically explode now once a cell has been compromised and its contents have been spilled out it's no longer viable it can't 
continue um, doing what it was doing before. So um, by applying these frequencies at this resonant frequency, the cell is drawing in more energy, more energy. The analogy which I often use is a child on a swing. If you push this child at the wrong point, there won't be much happening. But if you get the right point, which is just when the child goes back and she's going, wee, forwards again, you give the little nudge again, you know as well as I do, Wendy, that doesn't take much force. You can basically tap with your little finger and the child can be swinging all day. It doesn't take much energy. That is the resonant energy of the child on a swing. But on a more somber note, with these pathogens that are doing harm to your body, they, they, in a similar way, have got a resonant frequency. If that cell, if you can visualize a soap bubble, you, it gives, you give it a little nudge and it starts wobbling. If you nudge it at exactly the same rate as the wobbles, the wobbles will get larger and larger until the soap bubble bursts. And this is uh, very simplistically how applying these resonant frequencies can disable the pathogen cells. And not just that, Wendy, because it de the resonant frequency depends on the size and other physical characteristics of the cell, you can target each cell individually. So by changing the frequency slightly, you can choose a totally different cell to resonate. And so the way that it's got this um, targeting ability is uh, very, very useful. Yeah, and that that's so important because so many people uh, have infections. So many people have viruses and latent infections that are hiding from their immune system. They have Lyme disease, they have parasites and candida, and, they, and just and especially when someone's ill, they have low energy. They have all these opportunistic infections in their body. And um, it's, it's something that we, we need a way besides just taking physical symptoms to be able to, uh, you know, supplements or medications or whatnot to be able to address uh, these types of infections. And I love that Rife is just such a, a simple, elegant way to accomplish that in a totally non-toxic way. That's right. I think that most people, if not all people, have a burden, have a viral burden, which they regard as normal. That when you wake up in the morning, you might feel a bit groggy. Well, that groggy could be your body expelling the wastes from your um, from your dead pathogens that have been killed by your body's immune system during the night. Your body's fighting all the time. And uh, quite a few people, when they do do a detoxification, people quite often have more energy. That's because their body can direct more of its own energy to more productive things rather than on the battlefield. And so it's very, very important, I think, to try and reduce the viral burden that's in your body. So if someone suspects that they have a viral pathogen or other type of infection, how do you go about maybe figuring out what infection that you need to address? And then do you have like a, like a, what is the kind of the assessment um, of before you use like a Rife machine or a similar type of machine? It's very hard to actually know what ails you when, you, when, you're, when you're sick or even if you're not sick. A lot of people have this viral burden that they carry all the time and their body's fighting it so you have low energy, but you think that's the norm but it's not. It's, um, one of the best ways to determine what frequencies to apply and possibly what pathogens you have is to perform a biofeedback. There's two ways that Spooky2 can do a biofeedback. Well, three now. <laughs> There's the way we just use contact pads, which you stick onto your body. And Spooky does a scan of your body by applying a range of different frequencies. And the results will have some spikes. And where the spikes are, the frequency spikes, is where your body is provided the strongest response to your body. Another way is putting an ear clip on your ear or on your fingertip. That's our Spooky Pulse. 
and it measures your pulse rate. When your body's under stress, when it gives it a bit of a glip and it uh, tends to change its rate. Well, again, a range of frequencies is applied to the body. And all this time, Spooky listens to your body and finds the frequencies which have the greatest biological response by your body thinking, oh, something's happening here. My, my tummy's starting to give a little bit of a rumble. Yep, it's all happening. And it'll only happen over a short range of frequencies. And those are the frequencies that are of most interest. The third way is a really cool way, Wendy. And it's our most recent development for biofeedback. It's where you don't even have to be connected onto any machine. You put something like a saliva sample between two slides and you put them into a, a piece of our equipment and Spooky will then apply the biofeedback to that sample. That's our sample digitizer. And that's great because not only can it sample your saliva or blood or urine or other other uh, things like this, but also for plants, for just about anything, or um, for determining the molecular weight frequencies for substances. You can find frequencies for an essential oil and then apply those frequencies to your body. And so you'll be getting the biological effects of that essential oil, which is quite well, quite cool, really. And, um, yeah, it just, it's grown from there. People have thought, well, if I put my saliva – oh, sorry, if I put my um, – fingernail filings in the sample digitizer, do a biofeedback scan through DNA entanglement. Is it performing a scan on my whole body? The digitizer can also apply frequencies and so I can cycle between scan and run. So in a way, you can have like a, a dedicated physician in your home while you're out doing your daily activities with this sample digitizer alternating between scanning running the hits that were found in the scan, and then performing another scan to see what the results were from those frequencies, and then back again. And it didn't actually stop from there, because Spooky is always growing, we're always developing. We want Spooky to be the best, right? So we found a way, first of all, of automating the scan and run, which is um, very simple. Then we advanced it to... Um, hunt and kill, where we do a scan, Spooky then will apply those frequencies, and in the subsequent scan, it scans either side of the frequencies that were previously applied, because pathogens, when you try and hit them with a frequency, they will shift frequency to try and evade, no, nothing like being killed. And so the pathogens actually move. It might move from 23 million hertz to 23.1 million hertz. It will move. And so the second, pre, this other way of doing it actually keeps hunting, keeps chasing these pathogens that are found on the first scan. And it will continue the chase until no hits are found. I love it. <laughs> it's like the sniper rife. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that's what we should have called this preset, yeah, isn't it? Sniper exactly. rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that should be the new name. Um, and so, so let's talk about this. So, um, you know, why why was Rife able to identify frequencies that we have trouble finding today? Because I know that there's. There's a there's a rash of people that have Lyme disease that have Lyme like uh, uh, infections, co infections, and their immune it hides from the immune system. Antibiotics aren't working. I mean, we've got to have uh, there's just better ways to do this. Uh, we need doctors and functional medical practitioners. Um, you know, Rife just hasn't cut, caught on uh, with that many people. And um, there's just such better ways to address these infections and these conventional treatments that are just try trying to address things on a physical level. Like you have an infection, take an antibiotic, et cetera. Right. Well, before Royal Rife created the machine for killing the bugs, he needed a way to see them. And so he developed this microscope that could see viruses right down to electron microscope resolutions. 
very, very high resolutions. Now, electron microscopes, we need, have to kill the object before it can be viewed. And so once it's dead, you can't actually see the effects of frequencies on the virus. Whereas he could actually see the virus while it's still living, or bacteria, anything microscopic. He could see it in the finest, finest details and at quite good depths of resolution as well. Now, this is an advantage he had over us then and he still has over us today because we still don't know truly how his microscopes worked. Now, you might think, well, why not? We, he made them. Why don't we just pull them apart? Because they're all taken and they are destroyed or compromised in some way by people that weren't that didn't like the work that he was doing it's, it's, a, it's a travesty but that's just the way it is your your comment before about people aren't getting results now as they did back then they actually are Wendy there's pockets of people that are getting very good results but just because of the environment that they're working in they're very wary that the same types of people will come around and do damage to them, to their families. And they think, well, the risk is just too great. We'll just carry on our own little way. There are people that have created microscopes which have got a similar resolution to the microscopes which Royal Rife created. They don't kill the object that they're viewing, but they're not made public. These microscopes are room-sized. They're made from parts which are sourced from different parts of the world and all thrown together. They're very smart people that do this, but they haven't got the resources to do it on a grand scale, whereas Royal Rife did have financial backers that provided samples of pathogens, lab animals, people to help him doing the lab work. No financing there. It's, everything's done on a shoestring budget now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've met a lot of people that are working on the on the fringes and isolation or with just small groups of people that are doing just amazing, astounding things. Um, try, just, you know, trying to advance science and advance our knowledge of how to, you know, heal the human body. And so is there any more to the story behind the R&D the you know to help develop the the spooky two which is the you know, like the similar to the rife machine that you that you you manufacture now right our spooky central and spooky plasma those are our two machines that we call the rife machine they are the, our plasma machines royal rife machines were also plasma we wanted our machines to be as close as possible to his machines his machines um, used plasma tubes. They used a what we call now a fanatron tube. A uh, better word for it is a Coleridge tube, which was a tube which was taken from an X-ray machine and filled with a gas, so it doesn't produce X-ray X-rays. Um, we produced our own fanatron tube. We had to develop a machine that didn't use a carrier frequency. Now, a carrier frequency is a fixed frequency that people, um, that designers use to tune their electronics to create a high voltage. Once you've got this high voltage, then you can turn it on and off and do what you like to create um, harmonics from the carrier frequency. But Royal Rife didn't use a carrier frequency, not in his original machines. Only in the subsequent machines, when he employed a radio engineer, that he went down that path. But he didn't. He did it with, uh, screaming and fighting. <laughs> a carrier frequency wastes most of the energy in, an, in a frequency band that's not very useful. But um, as I said, the original Rife machines didn't use a carrier, so we were determined to also not use a carrier. And we uh, after about six months of um, of research and development, we came to appreciate just how difficult it was and why there was no other plasma machine on the planet that 
also didn't use a carrier. It's frighteningly hard to do. So, um, yeah, we continued our development and, and in the end we did work out ways of performing the same tasks, the same function as Royal Rife machines have. His machines were valve controlled. Now, um, our machines are solid state. But regards to the signal to the tube, it's as close to his signal as anyone, to anyone else on the planet. Now, it's important to note that to be called a true Rife machine, you really need to have the approval of Royal Rife himself. And he's no longer with us. Yeah. And so we won't, we, we can't put Rife machine on the, on the machine, you know, put on a label, on the, you know, on, stick it on the machine itself. But I think that if he was alive today, he would do it the way that we have done it. That's what we believe. If we used a carrier for the duration of a treatment session, the same frequency at a very high power, often as high as 400 watts, is being applied to your body. Now, that's like a very low power microwave oven type of energy at one fixed frequency. It's not changing at all. So... Um, yeah, it's going to do damage to your cells over a period of time. So I think it is important not to use a carrier. In fact, the carrier is like old old news. Our machines can work with a carrier, with a fixed carrier. Of course it can. It's a very advanced machine. It's probably several generations beyond anything else that's out there. So we can run it 3.1 megahertz fixed carrier piece of cake, but we don't advise it because it just roasts the cells of your body at the same fixed frequency. You imagine listening to a, a sound in your headphones, the same frequency, just continuously. It'll just do, it'll do damage to your ears. You'd lose your ability to hear that particular note because of the damage that's done to the tiny hairs that are inside you, that are beyond your eardrum. So um, it's important to vary this frequency. Because a fixed, um, because a carrier-based um, plasma unit wastes most of the energy in a part which isn't useful, those machines have to be very high power so that the frequencies which do, which are being used have got a reasonable power. See, 400-watt machines, Wendy, will only apply something like 2 watts of power at a cancer cell frequency, two watts. What damage can two watts do? So our machine is a 30 watt machine, but it targets it. This is that sniper thought, <laughs> thinking again. You only need you only need one bullet, right? Yeah. But it's got to be it's got to be at the right in the right direction, not a shotgun in every direction. See, our our plasma machine is a sniper rifle, not a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, I love so that. So we don't do the button bus and blast everywhere, and hit. If you, we, we, you instead of shooting a deer, these these carrier machines shoot the deer, the squirrels, the rabbits, and 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 does damage to the trees and everywhere around it, <laughs> with all these shot pellets flying everywhere. Yeah. Those are the harmonics which these carrier frequencies produce. Mm. But, um, our machine does it um, in a much better way. So the 430 watts is being applied at the pathogen frequencies. The idea, Wendy, is that you do a biofeedback scan. You see where these uh, viruses are hiding. You find where they're sensitive. And then you hit those frequencies one by one by one by one. But we've had people uh, recover from very, very serious conditions that they've been told there's no way out. They're told to go home and just find a book to read and die. But um, we've sort of dragged them back from them and removed those bugs from their body and then the body's recovered on its own. Yeah, because I think so, a lot so, of illness is like the immune system can just become, you know, more and more and more overwhelmed and unable yes. to deal with this stuff. And then you become exhausted. You're not sleeping because your immune system is yes. fighting these pathogens at night and you're releasing all this cortisol and then you don't sleep and it just becomes this like downward spiral. And then, you know, my, uh -huh. my brother's wife was diagnosed with lung cancer 
and I was looking into getting uh, some kind of Rife or Rife type machine to help her. And unfortunately, she passed within two months of her diagnosis. Uh, oh, that's so, sad. so sadly, but you know, it was just too too little, too late. Um, but I was, you know, desperately looking for just everything possible. Um, but the Rife is amazing at targeting infections. It's amazing for anyone that has cancer to really dramatically increase their chances of survival to get rid of all this other burden off of the immune system. One of the really good things about um, Rife machines in general, not just ours, but any Rife machine, but in particular ours, it's a one-off purchase. So you don't need to keep on paying each week, month for subscription tablets or anything. You can use the same machine for treating different ailments, even for conditions which you wouldn't normally associate with a Rife machine, like a torn ligament. So it's not really pathogen-based. You can still use Rife machines for treating that. It's like a doctor at home. And if you've got a good database, a good set of frequencies for different types of conditions, then you can treat any one of those using your machine. Where we think our machine is better than the rest is that it is always in development, not just in monthly updates of this or that. Our software is always updated free, by the way. The database is always growing. We have a corona virus DNA mapped and the database frequencies released a day after the DNA had been sequenced. So we don't, we're, we're very, very proactive. We're very cu customer focused. We're focused on our users. We think, well, okay, they've got our machines. Now let's look after them. <laughs> look after these people. We've got a very active forum, Wendy. We've got, well, I don't know how many now, but maybe 17,000 people on our forum. We've got our Facebook group where uh, everyone's welcome to join, and that's massive and growing by the by the day. What's the name of your and Facebook people, group? It's um, Spooky to Rife for Life. Okay, great. Not Sniper Rife? Maybe change it to the group well, that's to Sniper Rife. Okay, if you, if you, don't, if you don't mind, that would be that's a great thing, right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, did I hear because you correctly it's... that you can combat coronavirus with uh, with your yes. machine? Wow. Yes, and you don't even need expensive equipment. You can you, you can use your the expensive um, plasma machines that we have, or you can even just use contact mode, which just means one generator, tens pads, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So you can do it on a budget if you really want to. Yeah. We're not. We're not really after the money. We're we're in for it for the for the uh, for the answers. Spooky started with me trying to save my grandparents, feeling helpless at the time. I guess with you, like you know, in your family, similar situation. This feeling of helplessness is terrible. And you think, you know, if only, if only. All people need is tools and education. Given those two. People can do wonders. And so from the time when I lost my grandparents, I decided, right, I'm going to make a change, not just in my family, but in my global family. So I decided, well, until I'm pushing up daisies, I'm going to bring solutions forwards. I'm not just going to do that, but I'm also going to make it so that people can afford them. You know, there's been solutions actually for a while, Wendy, but you know that you've got you've got to have you know several zeros after the after the numbers to be able to you know to afford it. It's only the people with big pockets that can buy these products. Yeah. So it's not it's not catering for the people that have already spent all their money on their doctors on their drugs, and now they've been. You know, they're right on at what's end. They haven't got the answers. Well, we do this. We provide the answers. We also provide a fantastic um, service. So we have audio channels which provide the frequencies that we have found for pathogens. Uh, FrequencyHeals.com. And we provide this for people that they can just, without any hardware whatsoever, just listen to it 
on their computer. All they need is their computer with their speaker. They don't need to buy anything from us. So we are very, very focused in providing solutions. If we can expand our hardware, when our Spooky Pulse, our biofeedback device was first released, all it could do was do a biofeedback scan. Then you had to manually create the program, then you load the program in, then you enter the settings, and then you run it. It's quite a few steps in the sequence, and it was quite complicated. But now with the, with programs such as this Hunt and Kill, you just basically hit the go button and then just sit back and relax and let the let the unit do its job. Let the AI do all the work. <laughs> let, now, well, that's what computers are for. <laughs> yeah. Why are people complaining now that life's so complicated and busy? They haven't got time for family. They've got computers that are much more powerful than the computers used for pu putting man on the moon. And yet people are finding life is much harder now than when it was before computers. So, well, we want to try and re backtrack a little bit and try and simplify things as much as possible. So when we do changes, it's generally for the better. Actually, while we're talking about bugs and things, I don't know whether I've got one to show you, but we uh, we developed a line of products, Wendy, Wendy, which were very, very simple to use. Basically, you, you point and you pull a trigger. Uh, we formed a company called MirrorMate, and you can find us at mirrormate.com. Anything that just is one button or two buttons to work Anything you can take out of a box and you can use without needing to read a telephone book-sized manual, then you put into the <laughs> Mirrormate range of products. And we created Flash. Now, if you've got a skin cancer, you just point what looks like a gun to your skin, touch the skin, then pull a trigger. Flash will kill the cancer cells on your skin. Now, I can say this rather than saying it's been, you know, um, be a bit vague about our statements because we did tests, very expensive lab tests. Well, we, we actually um, paid for an independent laboratory to do this and it wiped out the cancer cells and the cancer cells could not recover after one application of the flash. And we've published this on the Miramate range. We've got videos out on YouTube. So... It's not, um, it's not rumour, it's, it's, not, it's not us being bold and, and trying to give sales. We've proven it, that our devices can actually kill cancer cells. Now, go a step further. You know, age spots, Wendy. As we get older, you get age spots, kidneys, you know, what they call liver spots and, and all the rest of it. And people think, well, that's part of getting older. It's actually... More to the story. Yes, you do get it when you're getting older, but those spots are viral reservoirs. Hmm. When your immune system gets depleted, like when you get older, your body gets a little bit slower, then the um, pathogens which are harbored in those spots come out to play. If you remove those spots early, not through laser, because that's just superficial but if you kill the pathogens that are within those spots so those spots tr do truly disappear then you reduce significantly your chances of later on in life getting major health problems later on so we developed our flash and um, as a result of that i've run out of age spots what well, I, I call them beauty spots i've run out of beauty spots and um, so I've had to flash other people to try and get them, but I've got no spots, <laughs> nothing at all, no moles. Nothing left moles, to demonstrate. <laughs> moles, as you know, moles are, um, um, you know, they're bacteria. And so we zap moles and moles disappear, you know, very fast. And fungus, if you've got, um, like, nail fungus is really hard to get rid of, virtually impossible. You ask, someone has got nail, violet, uh, sorry, nail uh, fungus. Yeah, I've had it for years, they'll say, you know, flaky skin and everything. Nothing gets rid of it. Nothing topical because it doesn't get in. Well, our flesh destroys um, nail fungus very quickly. So frequencies, very high frequencies, which flash produces, or lower frequencies, which is our plasma device and our contact devices uh, produce. 
they all do serious damage to pathogens and they don't do damage to your own body cells. So it's kind of a no-brainer. If I had the equipment that we've now got, back when I still had my grandparents, my grandparents could still be around even today. Yeah, and it's uh, it's just amazing what I, I hear about technologies like this that are so simple, non-invasive, readily available, and yet uh, you just don't hear about them very much. I mean, I, I did I did one ripe session probably ten years ago at, at some office in Santa Monica, and, and it was interesting. But when you don't fully understand how it works or the potential for some like a ripe type machine to mm. dramatically benefit your health or maybe you're you're somewhat healthy you're just not looking for something like that i think uh you know it just people you know just aren't getting this this information that they need to know or may need to know at some point in their life if they get a diagnosis or have infections there's um, several good reasons behind that the rife community is always under attack Wendy under attack by allopathic medicine um, there's no money in it for them and so they um, actively pursue uh, legislate um, before putting um, stickers on equipment for certification they need you need to put it through tests and these tests happen to cost about two hundred thousand dollars and so of course small companies cannot do this the um larger companies they can do so they get they get it authorized you need to get um get these certifications before you export and so you get these pockets of rife machines but they're certainly not global you're not allowed to say on air that your machine can heal you're not allowed to say that it can kill viruses and bacteria or fungal diseases um, and I just didn't say that I'm just stating that things that you're not allowed to say but I, I can state that I can state the results of laboratory tests that we've done and this is why I could say that our machine killed outright these cancer cells I can, I can say that because it's a point of fact but um, in so many ways we restrict it. When I was in New Zealand, I was developing my equipment um, very close to other researchers, cancer researchers, um, based in the Auckland University. I had to do it secretly. In the end, I had to move. Now I'm in China. I'm away from the Western influence, the Western suppression of alternative approaches to healing, and I've got more freedom now. And so this is how Spooky has grown so much over the years. We can freely develop and even have the cooperation of um the um, universities here to help us develop and refine our equipment so our equipment is leading edge and we're always fighting to make ourselves known quite recently Google um, changed the algorithm so if someone searches Rife now for the first few pages all they'll get are the negative reviews they'll get all the reasons why Rife can't possibly work. And people will get, of course, put off by this. Quack watch and other people, they'll put out what they like. And um, yeah, we're just hoping that people become self educated. People start thinking for themselves and think, well, golly, you know, if it works for a girl on a swing, something so basic, how can a scientist state that applying a force? A vibrating force to something doesn't make it wobble. <laughs> Seriously, guys, you know, if you apply a vibrating force to something, it wobbles, okay, Especially, unless it's something purely solid, but even then it wobbles, but just at a higher frequency. It'll wobble, okay. If it's a smaller object, it'll wobble faster. 
but then again, you just apply a faster frequencies. And now our machines go up to 40 megahertz, which is pretty fast. And in fact, they can go even higher. Um, but we can target those, those cells directly. We can make them wobble. We can make them blow. But then the problem, of course, when there's the detox, you've got to get rid of those toxins that are released by those bugs. So this is why in our treatment protocols, we also have healing frequencies, detoxification frequencies that allow your detox organs, including the skin, to function better and get rid of all this garbage, this garbage you've been carrying around for years and thinking was normal. <laughs> Helps your body get rid of all that. So you find, gosh, you know, I feel like a teenager again. It's actually a great feeling, you know, when you, when you wake up and you've, you're actually on turbo. Yes, I've been feeling so that. Better. I love it. Yeah, it just, uh, it's, I just find it, I'm really so thankful that, you know, I feel better than I, I've ever felt. And it's just meeting people like you and discovering different things and meeting different people as, as a result of doing this podcast. And, um, I right. just I can't wait to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I cannot wait to to try one of the spooky twos. And we're going to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great, you know. In, in the arsenal against viruses and pathogens in general, is or you should have things like electrical devices like Spooky 2 or Miramate. You should also have other things, simple things like activated charcoal tablets. So cheap. They're benign. You can you can have the whole container load in one go and it won't kill you. Things like this, which are so friendly, and things that just help your body raise its health level. So that when you, you can you can work at your full potential. You weren't born to be sick. You're born to be healthy, and your body's always trying to be healthy, but it's got all these obstacles around. And it gets worse all the all the time this coronavirus virus that we were discussing just beforehand wendy it's a new animal on the block now it's something else we've got to contend with and we're told that maybe this virus is with us forever maybe it's going to be like measles and we have to take a um take a vaccine for it to prevent um, prevent it from doing problems, you know, in the in the community. Now we've it's it's, a, it's just getting worse and worse. So more now than ever, people need to have something in their in their medicine cabinet, so to speak, at home. And Spooky Two is a fantastic way of combating all these serious pathogens. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you're right there in China too. You're right there in the thick of it. Right in the thick of it, yeah. We see the, um, we're, we're hoping that it doesn't spread. We've, um, if you do, um, this is something which is very sad, Wendy, if you do an SO2 mapping of the state of China, where the incinerators are running, the hot spot, the, 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 spot where there's the greatest amount of SO2 being produced. And remember that the factories are all closed down now. People are not working. There's no production in China. It's in Wuhan. They're quite possibly burning more bodies than what they're stating. And we're talking about thousands of people. They're taken and they're burnt straight away. It takes 40 minutes to do a burn. These um, cremation places are working non-stop beyond capacity and um, they, we can see satellite evidence of this yeah. which can't be argued we've got other states that in other times we have greater concentrations of SO2 because of industry all of Wuhan has been quarantined, there's no one coming in, no one going out at all not even a dog so something's happening to create the SO2. Yeah, yeah, the sulfur or, dioxide that's released when bodies are burned or plant matter. And so that is something very, 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 very serious. I mean, we're really hoping it doesn't become global. If it does become global, we really hope that people have before that time equipped themselves with the necessities, food, water to last for a long period of time. Um, and at home also to have health 
um, machines that will kill viruses in your home um, in your body you need to have something like a spooky two device that can if you come down with a virus something to kill the virus inside your body it's very very serious now we are in Nanjing it's several thousand kilometers away from Wuhan Nanjing is also being shut down we're in quarantine we can't come and go freely we can't visit other neighboring cities it's very very serious stuff when there people need to prepare beforehand and um, I think if they had at the very very minimum a spooky two generator X and tens pads that's the absolute minimum then they'll be okay because they can with the tens pads and generator X they can provide they can do a biofeedback find the exact frequencies to apply Maybe they've got uh, the Wuhan virus, the coronavirus, or maybe they don't. They can do the scan and then they can apply the frequencies. So it doesn't matter what is making them sick, they can get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. And so are you, so you're located in China. Are the spooky yes. two shipped from China or is there fulfillment here in the United States or other countries? They're shipped from China. We don't have other Company, you know, companies that are our middle men, if you like, because we've always been focused on customer direct, keeping prices down as low as possible. And the way to do that is to not do um, what other companies do. <laughs> and it's worked very well up to now. But now, of course, it's harder to get product out. But we are doing it. We've still we've got our stockpile of product, product products. So we do recommend people do and I place your orders before it's too late. We have our skeleton staff. We're restricted to the number of staff we can have in our offices. Um, the state have only allowed a certain proportion of the staff and to do the essential work. And so they've got permits to enter. Everyone else aren't allowed to enter the offices. So we can um, ship the product out. So people can place their orders um, without any issues, um, and we're doing our best to keep to ship them as promptly as possible and with the circumstances that we have. We've always been very, very customer focused. We think every customer that buys our product, we consider them as part of our family, the Spooky family. I want to be and part of the Spooky family. <laughs> are you saying, Wendy, that you're? doing the spooky interview but you don't have anything spooky in your house i don't I, i'm gonna resolve that issue soon though i i definitely want to get a spooky machine because i i've been wanting to get one for a while i've researched them like a little bit here and there but you know there are the ones that i found were five thousand dollars you know that's it's very cost prohibitive and so yep. um so i'm really really interested in learning about uh, learning more about your product so uh, so tell us where where we go if we want to get a spooky machine. Well, we've got a website which is dedicated for the sales of our products. It's spooky two dash more dot com. Dash what? Uh, a spooky two dash or hyphen more. It's M A L L. Mall. Yes. Com. Okay, got it. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, great. And if you go there, you can launch from there to our various other groups. Um, go to our forum and, and have, have a look around there or join Facebook and have a and see what's happening down there. Very, very, very active. I think we're the most um, active Facebook group there is. Um, but that's only because people, more people are becoming aware of the importance of taking control of your own health. So we've got that. Um, so if you, you go and look at what products you have, we have various kits where we, you can buy a generator and the TENS pads and everything you need. So it's just a one, one, one kit that you buy and there's descriptions of the kits, what the kit can do for you. Uh, we start from, I think, the starters kit and then it goes all the way up to the big boys. And the big boys are the plasma machines, which are the, um, the what we will term the Rife machine. Yeah, the sniper Rifes. The sniper Rife, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the virus the virus hunters <laughs> well, we should have you in our marketing team yeah. that's quite a team 
Tim. <laughs> oh, you know, we can't think of everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, thank you so much for coming on the show. And uh, that was just such an interesting interview. And um, just I love the work that you're doing. It's so important. I think we just people need to have everything in their arsenal possible over and above supplements to be able to, you know, kill pathogens, strengthen their immune system, and do it in a way that's beyond just like food and supplements and addressing things in a physical right. realm. You know, I think people are going to have enjoy so much more health if they're addressing things bioenergetically with frequencies, uh, with energy right. medicine. That is the that is the wave of the future. That is what it's going to get the best results. One thing that we haven't touched on, I'll, I'll just touch on it briefly because I know that your audience is very um, aware of the um, the importance of supplements. We have a spooky scalar device. We can place a supplement on a coil and apply the uh, the effects of that supplement to everyone within the field. And that field can be your whole house. And so you can get a very expensive supplement, healing supplement, something which is very good and natural, place it on the coil and just leave it there. The coil doesn't consume the supplement. And the whole house is bathed in the healing frequencies of that supplement. I love which that. Which is kind of cool. Well, we, we, um, this is a, um, a device that is fairly new. There's other devices which do the same function by the companies, but they happen to charge, well, they were 11,000 euros. Then as soon as we released our product, they went down to 7,000 euros, <laughs> which is still horribly expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, our, our, our one is a fraction of that price. And it looks better too, but it's by the by. But it's um, something so simple. And we got reports of people that had stage four cancers um, go into full remission just by using this product. We posted uh, videos of them saying, wow, you know, they were so moved by what it did for them that they were decided to send us a video of them saying, you know, what mm. it did and how good it was for them. And we have this on our Spooky2videos.com site. We've got those in other places as well. But um, yeah, Spooky2videos is where people can find reviews of our products. It's all very well us saying how good we are, which of course we will, right? <laughs> because our view is entirely unbiased, but we have other people saying that similar things. So it sort of saves us having to sort of pound our own chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, fantastic, John. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And and so everyone go to spooky2-mall, M-A-L-L.com to, to, check, to check those out. And everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to the Myers Detox podcast where we explore all types of topics related to heavy metal and chemical toxicity, alternative health, bioenergetics, energy medicine, um, because these things are things that can help people improve their body's health so that they can detox better. So thanks for tuning in and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.